So what if there was a 3D printer that you could take out of the box, load your filament, hit print, and experience perfect multicolor prints with no purge waste, no issues, no tuning? Does one of those printers exist? Well, today we're gonna find out. We're gonna take a look at the Bamboo Lab H2C, Bamboo's newest printer. I'm Aaron, this is the Printosaurus, so let's get to it. So you guys may or may not have seen that I have posted a couple shorts leading up to today's video. And today's video is on the new Bamboo Labs H2C. Now I've teased these prints that I have here. We're gonna talk more about them and really what the intent of this video is. So my idea here is we've all seen uh, I feel like hundreds of videos at this point of printers being unboxed. It's not a lot of fun. Most of us skipped through that. I did have a surprise though when the printer arrived, uh, thanks to a shipping company, I would think. Check these pictures out. And luckily, luckily the printer survived. Can we print with this thing out of the box? Are there any hidden surprises, any additional setups, any tweaking, anything that we need to do to actually get this thing to work the way that you would expect it to work or want it to work um, out of the box? Before you do that, there are some things you're going to have to do with the H2C. So you have what uh, Bamboo calls the induction nozzle, um, which is that right side nozzle. This is what works with the Vortex system. Now, Bamboo includes uh, five nozzles, but uh, they're not all the same size. And unfortunately, you cannot use uh, a mix of different size nozzles uh, when you print. So if you are looking to fully load, which would be six nozzles, you're going to have to buy um, a few extras. So I did that. I have four additional nozzles here uh, at the 0.4 millimeter. So now I can load these in. Uh, so that is a step you're gonna have to take. You're gonna have to load your Vortex system. It is very simple. There are magnets, uh, spikes. So there's holes here on your induction nozzle. You simply set those in place and they click in. Once you do that, you have to read all of your nozzles. So very basic setup. Um, the screen walks you through everything. Uh, so no surprises there to get this thing going. All right, so can we really print out of the box? How simple was the setup and getting everything prepared to do so? Uh, Bamboo does a great job with this. You're not gonna have any problems walking through the setup process, installing the AMS. You saw how I installed the nozzles. Everything worked really well. The Vortex system seems very smooth so far. So let's talk about our two projects that we have here. The idea with the Ripper mask, I saw this and thought, wow, this thing is incredible. Uh, it would be really cool to print and I waited. I wanted to print it with something uh, I originally thought I'd do it with the Snapmaker U1 and I had the H2C come in uh, before I got the Snapmaker. So I figured perfect idea, perfect setup. Let's see how well this mask does. So in doing that, I went ahead and sliced it in Bamboo Studio and I have some numbers here that I wanted to share. I compared it to the X1C uh, and my H2D. So for this Ripper mask at uh, 0.16 uh, layer height, so I wanted it to be very high detailed and very sharp. Uh, so for the H2C, we did this in three days, 10 hours, 28 minutes uh, at 766 grams of filament total. The H2D, when I sliced it, was going to be five days, five hours, and 18 minutes. And 1,873 grams of filament used. So you can see right there, there's quite a bit of savings printing this on the H2C in both time and material. Now, X1C, six days, two hours, and 54 minutes at 2,255 grams of filament. Today's video sponsor is PCBWay, pcbway.com. Jump online and take advantage of their Christmas sales. You can get 10 to 20% off 3D printing and materials. You can also take advantage of purple, matte, black, and pink solder masks. And there are some coupons up to $435 worth of coupons. So take advantage of those. And if you need PCBs, well, PCBWay's got you covered for that too. So jump online and take a look. PCBWay, PCBWay.com. So with this Ripper mask, everything turned out fantastic. Really no issues whatsoever. The H2C performed as advertised. Not a single issue. This is the purge tower. So this was also, uh, you know, part of that 700 plus grams of filament uh, that was used. And then as far as waste, this is it. 
So I've got a couple little purge pieces here. And basically that is just from loading the nozzle initially and it purging and prepping the nozzle. So, you know, you're, you're not gonna lose or waste a whole lot of purge uh, with this setup. And like I said, this mask, fantastic. I think it uh, really turned out well and I have zero complaints with how well the quality of this mask ended up being. For filament that I used, I wanted to kind of spread it out. I did use PLA for both prints. Wanted to keep it very simple initially and just see if we could really do a print out of the box experience and if we would have success right away. And didn't have any issues with any filament settings, anything like that in the slicer. Everything worked the way it's supposed to, uh, which is what you would want when you're spending you know, 2,400 bucks on a printer. So let's move on to this guy over here. This guy I found on Maker World seems like a very popular print. Uh, so let's talk about time savings, material savings with this guy. Uh, another four color print. And for this one, the H2C did it in one day, 34 minutes and used 498 grams of filament. Uh, the H2D would have been one day, 11 hours, 21 minutes, 794 grams of filament. And then the X1C, two days, three hours and 38 minutes, 934 grams of filament. So this one had a lot less uh, color changes, things like that. So you're really not wasting as much filament uh, as you could see between the X1C and the H2C. Uh, really only a 400 gram difference uh, there, which isn't too bad. Uh, and then you can see the perch tower as well is a little more conservative. And this one I did at 0 0.20 layer height. So more your standard settings. Uh, and for purge waste on that, same deal. Just the initial purge that was needed uh, to purge uh, any filament in that induction nozzle and get things uh, kind of prepped for the print. And that's it. Very impressed with both of these projects. Uh, not a single issue or failure. This all right, so it's time to talk about what we found out today, and that is the H2C is as advertised. You saw the Ripper mask. You saw Raphael over here and I'm gonna give it up to Bamboo again. So far, this is a great printer. There were no surprises with setup. Everything was easy. Uh, the on-screen prompts, everything was really easy to follow. They make it simple these days. I uh, haven't had any issues with that Vortex system. So as I mentioned earlier, this review today was more or less, can we print out of the box? Can we do some long projects? Um, so combined, we have about four or five days worth of printing time. Uh, and I went nonstop with that. So I started one as soon as it was done, I moved on to the next one and I had zero issues, no failures, everything worked. I did everything on the Vortex system. So every color that I used was only on that Vortex system and I didn't have a single problem. Long term, we're gonna do another review that's a little more technical and we'll get into the ins and outs of the printer, but if you're looking for something that performs out of the box, the H2C certainly did that. Stay tuned for more. Uh, I've got some exciting stuff coming up. The Snapmaker U1, I'm gonna put the H2C against the U1 and the H2D just to see how well they perform, look at quality, things like that, speed in comparison to an actual tool head swapping setup like the U1 and how it compares to that Vortex system. So we'll see there. My other AMS did show up today, so I'm gonna start doing some eight color stuff with the H2C as well, and we'll see how well that performs too. So stay tuned for more. Thank you guys, I'm Aaron. This is Apprentosaurus, and please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Cannot do this without you. See you in the next video.